Hello everyone, how are you doing? You are most welcome in the name of Jesus. Whenever you are watching this video, wherever you are watching from, good afternoon, good morning, good evening. May God bless you in the name of Jesus. On this channel, we pray, we seek solution, we lay our burdens on God, we leave our problems for God to handle. And testimonies are coming. God is solving out difficult situation. What he cannot do does not exist. So all you need to do is to join us. Subscribe and make sure the bell is turned on. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Okay? So for today, I'm going to encourage all of you to put in more time and attention in the things of the Lord. Most of you, you are always running after material things, running after money, after wet, after food, after luxury, and that is all you care about. You don't really take out your time to worship God for who He is. You should. It does not mean that when you have a problem, you have to worship God to get your solution. Don't just see the process of worshiping God for your personal benefit alone. It is because we are always running after material things. We are more concerned about money. We are more concerned about wealth. We are more concerned about riches. And that is why many people are still poor. That is why many people are still jobless. That is why we have criminals everywhere. See, if you want to get blessing from God, focus on Him. Focus on God. And any other thing, every other thing will be added unto you. So don't always be it that whenever you are praying, Oh God, give me money. Oh God, make me rich. Make me worthy. Bring me money. That is a selfish prayer. There are times you just worship God. Focus on God. Give your life to Christ. Repent from your sin. Repent from your sin and build a personal relationship with God. See, as a child of God, if you have a personal connection, relationship with God, the devil will fly away. The devil will flee from you. The reason why you see that darkness come into your life is because you don't have that relationship with God. You are a problem, problem Christian. You only remember to pray when you have a problem. See, if you don't have a relationship with God, devil will come in. Devil will come in. In this life, you cannot be alone. I've always told you, it is either God is with you or devil is with you. But God does not force himself on people. He leaves that as a choice. So if he sees that you are not willing to have him, you are full of sin and evil, he would leave you. But the devil, the devil always forces himself on people. He always forces himself. Immediately, God leaves you. Know that devil is coming in. And devil brings darkness, sickness, poverty, hardship, failure, delay, premature death, and all sort of bad things. So a life without Christ is full of crisis. If your life does not have Christ, there must be crisis, problem. 
So if you want to leave that problem, there are some people, from one problem to another, things are not working. They are never happy. There is a problem on ground. You are not even done with that. Another problem. From one problem to another, things are not working well. You are suffering. You are in big debt, borrowing and begging, wretchedness, sickness. People are dying in your family. There is problem in your life. Instead of you to always focus on God, give me this. Establish a relationship with God. Because if you don't have that personal relationship with God, when you are praying, you are wasting your time. You better go and sleep because God is not listening. So how do you establish a personal relationship with God? By repenting, you leave your evil way. The moment you turn your back on sin, you stop doing evil. You stop stealing, committing fornication, adultery, gossip. The moment you start helping people in need, doing other good things, praising the Lord, reading the Bible. You are now connected with God. See, if you wake up in the morning without praying, I hope you know it is a sin when you are in haste because you are ungrateful. You could have been dead. When you go to sleep at night and you don't pray, it is a sin. When you are eating and you forget to pray, it is a sin. And we are all guilty of that. So please, learn to abstain from sin. Leave your evil ways and focus on true worship. Take out your time and worship God. At times, go on your knees. Begin to sing. Begin to worship God. Tell God, come into my life. Come into my life. Oh Lord, I want more of you. I want to establish a relationship with you. I want light in my life. Not because I want you to bless me alone. Because I want you to always be with me. Because I love you. Because I want to always be with you. Pray like that at times. That is the only solution. When you have God in your life, every problem will give way. But when all you do is to worry about what you are to eat, worry about money, you are not focusing on the real thing, on the main picture, which is God, your salvation. You are all after material things. If God finds out that all you want is material things, all you want is money and nothing else, there are many of you, you don't even care about God. You don't even appreciate God. You don't even believe God exists. He will not help you because you just want to use God to meet your selfish desire. From now on, always learn to praise God. Sing songs of praises. That is the major way to establish a relationship with God. You call Him names calling great names, the ocean divider, the mighty man in battle, the great God. Love God for who he is. Love him and worship him as God. And that material thing you are looking for, you will get it double. So let's look at Luke 12 verse 29. Luke 12 verse 29. So don't be all upset. Always concerned about what you will eat and drink. For the pagans of this world are always concerned about these things. Your father knows that you need these things. Instead, be concerned with the kingdom and he will provide you with these things. When you are always running after money, food, wealth, you are now behaving like pagans, unbelievers. Instead, run after the things of the kingdom. How to make heaven. What to do to make heaven. We are living a short life in this world. 
Yes. How do you make heaven? How do you make it right? How do you build your union with God? Be concerned about that. And when you do that, the Lord will provide every other thing that you need to be comfortable in this life. So now, you have known this. Your prayer will be, Lord have mercy. I have been pursuing material things. I have been running after my selfish interest. Oh Lord, forgive me. Oh Lord, have mercy upon me. Lord, I want to know you. Lord, come into my life. Lord, give me the grace to abstain from sin. Lord, give me the grace to be righteous so that I will not miss your kingdom. Pray like that. Tell God to come into your life. Tell God to be your father, to be your protector, to be by your side. And you will see that that thing you have been praying for for so long, you will get it times 10. Because at times, the reason why God has not answered you, he knows that when you get those things, you will forget to pray. You will forget your faith. There are some people, when they are so comfortable, they forget God. So that is why up until now, you are still in that problem. You are still in that situation so that you can draw closer to God. Love God for who He is and build your faith gradually. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you turn on the bell. I come here to pray with you every day. And I go on live once in a week. May God bless you in the name of Jesus.